We move back and forth along the three space axis every day. Then why can't I move backwards through time and undo that tripping? After all, space and time are interconnected as suggested by Einstein. But no matter what we do, we always move forward through time, that is, into the future, even when it seems like time has stopped moving. That is where entropy comes in. Now, entropy is commonly understood to be a measure of how disorganized the system is. But what does disorganized mean? In physics, disorganization is generally a measure of how spread out a system's energy is. Consider my workspace as analogous to a physical or chemical system. Say every item on my desk represents a part of our system's energy. Naturally, as I use my desk, I will shift the items around in order to use them. Thus, the energy will spread out over a larger area. Why? Because the probability of a system's energy existing in its disorganized state is a lot more than that of it existing in its organized state. In fact, disorganized states are so high in number that it is statistically impossible to go back to the organized state. This fact is so important that it has its own law, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy of an isolated system always increases over time. And we recognize this change of entropy as the passage of time. And yes, entropy can explain tons of stuff. Why does heat flow from the hot reservoir to the cold reservoir in a heat engine? Or why does heat flow out of your hot cup of tea into the surroundings? Ow! The answer to all these questions is entropy, which spreads out a system's energy. Interestingly, this example of the heat engine may have also made you realize that concentrated energy is actually what is useful to us, be it in heat engines or the food we eat. Entropy renders our energy sources useless. And yes, it will do the same to our sun because of which our sun will eventually run out of fuel. Luckily for us, if you're a human viewing this video in the 21st century, that process will take billions of years to complete. In fact, entropy is also the reason why our universe is continuously expanding and will eventually run out of thermodynamic free energy, leading to the heat death of the universe. The only solace is that in such a time, entropy would have stopped increasing after attaining its maximum value. Which means there would be nothing stopping us from going back in time. Except you need to wait a gazillion years for that to occur. Till then, don't let entropy eat your lunch. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe.